Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another game from Steinitz Memorial, the tournament played online organized by FIDE and Chess24.com platform. Uh, this is Blitz tournament, so uh, the players has three minutes uh, for uh, the whole game and two seconds incrementation for uh, every move. Uh, and today I would like to show you the game between Shahriar Mamedyaro from Azerbaijan, very strong grandmaster. His ranking in Blitz is 2716. Uh, he plays much better uh, in Rapids where his ranking is nearly 2800 but this is the Blitz tournament. Uh, he is 35 years old and he's gonna play as white. And his opponent Daniel Dubov, a Russian player, young and one of the most creative players in the world at this moment. He's 24 years old. His uh, Blitz ranking is is 2770 and he's gonna play as black uh, so without further ado let's see what happened on the board uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov open with d4 Daniel Dubov answer with d5 we have c4 e6 Queen's Gambit declined, Knight on c3 and it's transposed to semi-slav defense by Dubov. Uh, and here we have e3. Knight on f6, Knight on f3, pretty standard stuff. Knight b on d7, so uh, main line. And Queen c2, uh, it's called actually Stoltz variation. And here Dubov's play uh, something unusual. Uh, he play a5. Uh, a5 to grab some space on the queen side and maybe want to prevent white from advancing the pawns on the queen side. Uh, and here Shahriar Mamedyarov goes for h3. Very mysterious move because uh, what do you think? What Shahriar Mamedyarov want to do now? Make some space for the king? Let's see. Bishop on e7 and now g4. So this is what was in mind. Uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov, very risky move because now what white's gonna do with the king? But this is blitz game, so uh, a lot of, you know, uh, strange tricks uh, are allowed. Uh, we have d takes on c4 by Daniel Dubov. Bishop takes on c4 and now b5, kicking the bishop with tempo. Bishop on d3 and now b4, kicking the knight. And probably knight should go, for example, to a4 and after bishop on b seven the game could continue probably with e4 uh, and white would stands pretty good however we have knight on e4 uh, and here dubov exchange the the knight so knight on e4 bishop on e4 attacking this pawn twice so it looks like pretty good for white however after bishop on b7 white can white take on c6 or not uh, if white takes actually bishop on c6 rook c8 and that would be pretty unpleasant and it doesn't help something like bishop on d7 because after queen on d7 the queen is still under attack and also the knight is under attack and knight cannot move because the rook would be uh, you know taken so uh, queen on e2 but now queen c6 winning this knight or the rook so uh, not really greatest move here uh, of course uh, after rook on c8 white should try to to play some tricks like d5 uh, sacrifice the pawn but the position of white would still not be great so this is why we have knight on d2 uh, bringing extra defender uh, to e4 uh, bishop uh, we have rook on c8 so now uh, the pawn is not under attack anymore and here Mamedyarov play a3 so he want to solve the problem on the queen side what to do uh, with these pawns uh, at this point, actually, Daniel Dubov could try something like bishop on a6 uh, and then king couldn't castle. So white would be actually forced to play something like bishop on d3, maybe exchange the bishops, then c5 and black has very, very nice position here. Okay, uh, so that could be played. However, Daniel Dubov's go for the castle. Uh, so he sacrificed the pawn or maybe he missed that uh, and he gonna lose the pawn on h7. We have king on h8 and now bishop on e4. Uh, and only now bishop a6 by Daniel Dubov. So he found this continuation just, uh, you know, a bit later. Uh, we have bishop on d3, bishop on b7 and bishop on e4 again. Knight on f6 now attacking the bishop and what to play now? 
Uh, moving the bishop back is not really great that this bishop would be uh, without any protection. Uh, yes, for now it would watch at b7, but the game could be very tactical, very complicated. So uh, Daniel Dubov probably would calculate better here as he is known, as he is very creative, you know, and sharp player. So Shahriar Mamedyarov goes for uh, the castle. Uh, and now we have knight on e4 and knight on e4 and only now c5. And what to do as white uh, the bishop is already on this diagonal very strong the rook starts to play as well uh, Mamedyarov goes for a knight takes on c5 we have bishop takes on c5 d takes on c5 and now Daniel Dubov starts to attack so uh, queen on h4 was possible but first uh, he want to soften the defense uh, of Shahriar Mamedyarov and he play f5 so now what to do as white? Uh, Mamedyarov didn't do anything on his king side. He, I don't know, he believes that it's nothing serious here. And he played a takes on b4. The problem is now uh, Dubov found a very, very creative move and he plays bishop on f3 very very dangerous move because now f3 is not possible so this bishop uh, you know blocking uh, all the position locking the position of the king and now checkmate is coming and it's very very dangerous uh, okay so uh, it's it was not really great idea you know to play on the queen side but it was also very difficult to find the moves uh, you know for white uh, in this position, actually, there is only one defending move which gives white the chance to survive. But it's very difficult to find. So if you want to try to find, you know, feel free uh, to, to do it. But it's not so easy. So uh, the only continuation here which still gives white the chances is queen on c3. Okay, queen on c3, not easy to find the move like that with the plan of moving the queen to defense. Uh, and after queen on h4, queen e5, queen h3, uh, just, you know, pinning the queen. So exchange the queens and after f takes on g4, uh, white can try to play that, but it's not so easy to play. So uh, white can't just take, for example, on a5 because black could just take this pawn and checkmate, uh, you know, white on h1. So uh, not really easy, but that was the only chance actually for white. However, here uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov plays king on h2. And this is losing move. King on h2 with the idea if queen come uh, on h4, uh, then the pawn actually is defended. But that's not enough. Okay, so uh, feel free to pause the video actually and try to find the winning continuation for black uh, while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So uh, there are two winning continuations and actually uh, Stockfish recommends F takes on G4. F takes on G4. And now it's very difficult to do anything about this attack. Uh, so white would have to play rook on G1 and try to defend this way. And after queen on H4, rook G3. Uh, the problem is the black has a very complicated continuation now, uh, which is winning. So uh, this is good for stockfish, but it's for human not easy to find. Bishop on d1 now. Uh, and if queen takes on d1, then of course uh, we're going to have the mating ideas here. So uh, that's not the great. So queen would have to go to d2 and then rook f3. Rook f3 with the idea of double the rooks and win the game. Of course, the, if the rook takes the, the rook, then we would have bishop on f3 and checkmate is coming. So uh, not an option here. But how to defend f2? It's impossible to defend f2. If you try something like maybe rook on a2, it doesn't work because of the tactics. Rook c on f8 and now b3. So it looks like defending. The problem is rook g3 
and after f takes on g3 we're gonna have a checkmate on f1 so uh, that was one continuation but very very complicated Daniel Dubov goes for a uh, other one so a uh, queen on c7 if you found this one then also congratulations very nice one uh, because now the king has to go back because uh, we have the bishop controlling uh, light squares and also the queen controlling the the dark squares here so this is the only move uh, and now we have f takes on g4 uh, and here Shahriar Mamedyarov could try, but it's also losing, but his last chance to complicate the game uh, would be something like queen on c4. Queen on c3 doesn't work anymore because the, the queen on, is on this diagonal, so uh, this move would not work. So uh, here probably black would play rook on f6, and, and this is very strong attack on the g6 or on the h6. So uh, anything, if, if white try to maybe bring the bishop to the defense, it's just too slow. G takes on h3, uh, maybe bring the, the queen, but it also doesn't work. Rook on g6, king h2, and now queen e5. And even white tries something like, you know, blocking the queen and attack the queen, black actually has uh, mating ideas already. Rook g2 with check, king h1, h2... And that's all. If white takes the, the queen, the problem is this is a checkmate and winning. So uh, not really a greatest idea, but very complicated line to find uh, as black. Uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov goes for h takes on g4. Uh, and now we have queen on e7 with the threat, of course, uh, checkmating on h1. And here Mamedyarov play queen on g6. And he didn't resign the game, but he set up the trap, you know, and it's very, very smart trap because now if queen on h4, then actually it's not winning move because we have queen on h5 with check. So black would be forced to exchange uh, and after a takes on b4, uh, still black is slightly, slightly better and white would have the problems with defending. This is, you know, some uh, mating idea. So white would have to move the, the king as fast as possible. Uh, but still, it's slightly better for black, but probably white can manage to, uh, to draw this. So that was the last try uh, of Mamed Yarov to draw that game. However, Daniel Dubov plays very precisely and he goes for rook f6 and after this move uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov resigned the game there is uh, nothing he can do uh, you know against uh, attack on h1 and checkmate on h1 uh, for example queen g5 and that's just you know checkmate so queen h6 sacrificing the the queen but now queen can go to h4 and also checkmate so this is why uh, after Rook on F6, Shahriar Mamedyarov resigned the game. So uh, that's another game and I'm going to cover, you know, of course, uh, tomorrow just another game. I just saw that Daniel Dubov won against Magnus Carlsen, so that's going to be pretty exciting. I will look at that game um, just later and, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike and... Uh, if you don't want to miss any other quality content from Steinitz Memorial, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.